John Fanolio is in our newsroom tonight with more on the presidential scorecard. Hey, John. Hey, Rick Court. Well, President Trump is the first commander in chief since a wounded Ronald Reagan in 1981 to skip the White House Correspondents Dinner. He insists he's accomplished as much in 100 days as most any president. And tonight he was in a boastful mood. Day 100 and President Trump is touting what he sees as major accomplishments in office, holding a campaign style rally in Pennsylvania. My administration has been delivering every single day for the great citizens of our country. The president using the event to slam the media. Then I think we would all agree the media deserves a very, very big, fat, failing grade. You notice now they're using, everybody's using the word fake news. Where did you hear it first, folks? Back in Washington. We are not fake news. We are not failing news organizations. And we are not the enemy of the American people. Journalists, celebrities, and dignitaries gathered for the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner, which raises money for journalism scholarships. Mr. Trump is the first sitting president to miss the ceremony since Ronald Reagan. On his 100th day, he's also looking at lower approval ratings than any new president since World War II. Despite signing a slew of executive orders, he has yet to score a major legislative achievement, such as tax reform, health care reform, and funding for a border wall. But he successfully nominated Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch. And on day 100, more protests in cities across the nation over President Trump's climate policy. We will fight Donald Trump who thinks climate change is a hoax. This is a fight that we cannot afford to lose. And the president says he'll decide in the next two weeks what role the U.S. will have in the Paris Climate Accords, which aims to strengthen the global response to the threat of climate change. He also says Republicans could take another crack at a health care bill as early as next week. Rick Court, I'll send it back to you. All right, John, we thank you for that. Coming up next.